good new start with that. Are you happy that you're two up? Disappointed that you've lost two in the second half? Listen, I think that just that just sums us up this season. That tells you everything about us as a, as a club and as a wee bit in terms of our naivety. I thought for 70 minutes we were excellent and I'll explain that. I thought the first half we were the best side and deservedly we were 2-0 up. Two excellent goals and I thought we were so far ahead in the first half. Second half, 10 minutes, the second half, first 15 minutes of the second half, we didn't manage it. We spoke to him about the importance of it and we didn't manage it. And we were spooked in that 15 minutes, lose two goals. And then probably the last 20 minutes of the second half, we managed it fine at two each. We won't manage the game fine. And we probably, coming back to two each, they could have crumbled and they never, and they managed it fine. So in terms of the first half, in terms of the last 20 minutes, we were we were good, we were excellent. But 15 minute spell, we just were spooked and we, we didn't manage the game. Do you know the first one, the first one we've got to we've got to do better. Dave Smith gets lost and he needs to turn his body and see the, see the guy, the, the, the player can see his number. He's got caught under the ball. Uh, and then the second one, I still think my goalkeeper can do better in terms of his, his, his positioning. And I've told him that uh, to help. I'm no sure it's a penalty. I think it's a brave he scouse. Scouse is saying it's hit his hand, but it's it's no deliberate. And I've probably got to say I agree with that because he's on the ground. Uh, but he's given the penalty, so probably over the piece, it draws a fair result if you're a, if you're a neutral. I think. As you say, he's on the ground. It's. it's Close range as well. He would have probably done well to get his hand. I know, Alice. I, 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 you, it perplexes me. Totally perplexes me. This law, and do you know, I don't, I don't even think the referees know what the law is. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't think they know it for one week to the other. I think they just there's no consistency around about it at all. And I think if they, they look themselves in the mirror, uh, and John Fleming, you know, looks himself in the mirror, they, they, they'll know that there needs to be consistency comes to this rule because it's it's causing problems where it's inconsistent uh, approach every week up and down the leagues. Do you think that Grant Gillespie was lucky not to get a red card? I think he was, uh, yeah. I think he was, I think he was, but do you know, Grant will be, will be happy he stayed on, so will John, but we, you know, probably, if John was on the other side, he'd be here and shouting quite rightly for a red card, so. But listen, over the piece, if somebody had said to us before the game, you would you would take a point and two each, then probably, but when you see where we were at half time, do you know, that's a disappointing thing, and that's the learning curve, we keep challenging them with learning curves, and that's the learning curve for them in there in terms of that wee bit naivety, that 15 minute spell. After the after half time, is it particularly pleasing given your, your lack of options? I, I was saying earlier that um, Liam Buchanan has more goals this season than the Stranraer players have appearances on the bench. So not exactly blessed with <laughs> options to try and change the game. Listen, well, no, there's no excuse. There's no excuse at all. I'm not going to offer an excuse for that 15 minute spell because. That's just us, do you know, and, and you just go accept that. I accept it as manager. It's something we need to try and continue to work with them, continue to build them. There's no excuse. That was nothing to do with what we had in the bench. That was nothing to do with the squad. That was just to do with the, the learning curves that we need to continue to learn as a team and as particularly, you know, as, as players. I mean, it's no young player. It's, it's David Smith. He's 25. He's an experienced player. And Dev's the first. And, and in the game, generally, I thought he was a smashing game. But it's just that one mistake. And they're the wee things that have been getting us all season, you know, in terms of that bit of consistency but so it's, there's no excuse for that's concerned it's about learning from, from the mistakes and we need to go to the last 11 games or 10 games of the season learn for that you know? another point closer to that 40 point oh, target. of course it is of course it is I think you know it's been a good week it's been a good week it's been uh, it's been three unbeaten uh, and a difficult week when a midweek game and, and it's Brecon's a hard place to go and we picked up three points and then the two difficult games at home uh, probably we should have Maybe we think we should have picked up a couple more points between the two games, but listen, if somebody told us that last Friday night we're attaining three games unbeaten and this week after the run that we had, then we're taking it. And I keep saying to people, that's now four out of the last five unbeaten. So I've told them in there, no sad faces, no, no chins on uh, chess. We've got ten cup finals to, to look forward to, and I, and I stress that, look forward to. Uh, and we will look forward to them, and, and I've said it all season, I'll continue to say it, we'll be alright, we'll be fine. I think, I think they showed some fighting spirit in the second half as that you know the blue they were fantastic in the second half after they, after they, they equalised showed some fighting spirit we did we absolutely did we absolutely did and, and, and you know I, I totally agree with that because I think if you take these five game a few weeks ago I think we've learned for that because we're 3-1 up and then we lose again when it comes back to 3 each uh, and I don't think we really look like losing again today when it comes back to 2 each I've got to say we've managed it much better so we've learned that lesson but Listen, there's still millions for us to do and we're, we're, we're not getting carried away or so. It's been a good week in terms of performances and, and picking up vital points, but we'll still work, we'll work hard between now and the end of the season and, and get the points that we need to get to that 40 point tally. Is that, do you look at the positives that are coming from 2-0 down? Or yeah, are you, are yeah, you yeah it's, a, it's mixed, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be mixed because we didn't start the game. You know, We allowed uh, Stranraer to dominate the early part of the game. You know, We didn't really get out of the bit. Uh, obviously, conditions were 
only great for, for either team, for, for both teams, you know, and maybe none of us standing there watching that game realised about the conditions that they were so bad that probably it was almost a game of two halves, a preferable game of two halves, whereupon, you know, Sunrise got their cell two goals up and then we've come back with the two goals in the second half and probably, probably the conditions are a wee bit to do with it, you know. Yeah, uh, Robbie's made a great save at 1-0, which prevented us going 2-0 down early. But I still believe that we had two balls across the face of the goal that we could easily have got two goals back in the first half. So, effectively, it could have been 3-2 at half-time for, for Sun Ra. In the second half, we've got a great start. You know, it's a good one by Callum Crane. McGuffey takes it really, really well. So, 47 minutes, you're 2-1, game on, we're back in it. And by 56 minutes with a penalty, which probably Kevin, I've seen him score the opportunity that he got you know, going on to get the penalty. Uh, one v one with the goalkeeper, he would normally stick them away. But from the penalties, he's brave enough to, having just missed that chance, to step up and stick it away. So two each, 56 minutes, loads of time to go. Felt we were going and win the game from that point of view. But we just couldn't get the, the you know, that wee cutting edge back that we that we, that we we had in the, the start of the half. So between all doing at half time, I suppose you've got to walk away with a point and say, We've come back for 2 0 doing, showed a bit of character, possibly could have crumbled, didn't they crumble? We had a very young side out today, most of our experienced players, you know, were injured and out today, so uh, young side, a few changes, a different defence, you know, Davidson and Benedict has played at the heart of defence all season and, and they're not here. A lot of changes, but, you know, we dug in and I think we at least deserve the point, yeah. It was a brilliant save early on was was from Robbie Thompson. Ah, it was a world yeah. yeah, it was an amazing save, yeah. Poor defending for mm. us, the cross goes in and the lads, you know, sent a six yard box or roughly approximately I've not seen it again, but that's three days. He had a rough look in that position from the from the dugouts. And he's had to tip it onto the tip it onto the, the bar. It was a great save. Yeah. An amazing save. Yeah. And also the conditions it was impossible for us to tell yeah. where the wind was coming. It was very from. swirly the wind. Very, very swirly. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think uh, you've seen the start of the game how Stranraer had us pinned back in there, it was difficult to get out of that and that's where we've got our goals as well, all, all four goals coming down at that bottom end. So I think that tells you something about the elements. Despite the, the conditions for the folks sitting in the stands, it's an entertaining game. It would have been exciting, else. yeah, it would have been exciting. And, uh, the purists would have gone away shaking their head, you know, but I don't know how many purists we get here. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, certainly excitement. Yeah, it was excitement because even the one who goes back to the goalkeeper, he goes and kick, tries to kick it and the ball goes on his foot and if it's on the goal, if it's in the six yard box, it's a goal, you know, but that's, you know, a bit of excitement, you know, it was just uh, uh, exciting, you know, it was exciting for, uh, you know, we had a few fans the other day, uh, everyone knows, that, uh, I think we all knew it was going to be a windy wet day, so for the guys to travel down all the way for the Cody, thank them very much for coming and supporting us today.